purpose is truly real only when, in contrast to the relationship between cause and effect, where an earlier event determines a later one, the reverse is the case, and a later event determines an earlier one. This sequence is possible only in the case of human action. The human being carries out a deed that he first depicts to himself in idea and lets this idea determine his action. With the help of the idea, what comes later, the deed, influences the earlier, the doer. This detour of first depicting the action with an idea is always necessary for a chain of events to contain purpose. We reject the concept of purpose in all areas with the sole exception of human action. We look for laws of nature, but not for purposes of nature. Purposes of life not set by the human being himself are unjustifiable assumptions. For something to be purposeful, a human being must first give it purpose. Something done on purpose can only come about through an idea being realized. In a realistic sense, an idea can become operative only in human beings. Human life has no other purpose or destiny than the one that the human being gives it. To the question, what is one's task in life? We can only answer the task he sets himself. I have no predestined mission in the world. It is at every moment the one I choose. I do not set out on life's journey confined to a fixed route. Ideas are realized purposefully only through human agents. Consequently, it is invalid to speak of the embodiment of ideas by history.